Hello everybody and welcome aboard the morning commute on your monster train. My name is Lowell. Today we're going to be taking a look at the daily. Now I played yesterday's daily super late. We did really well all things considered. Today I'm hoping for some of the same. Now we got Melting Ombra, regular, regular. And you know what? That's actually a really good combination. It's pretty standard, pretty steady. I like the Rector Flicker. Uh, despite the fact that we just don't have him. We have a... Uh, he doesn't exist. Oh shit. Alright, well, let's see what we can do. So, triggered abilities on friendly units trigger twice. Good. Uh, or an additional time at the very least. And then two for one. Every time we draft a card, we get two copies of it. Okay. We're 30 minutes in and nobody's won yet. Let's be the first. Or at least that's the plan. Uh, we got Sacred Bricks to start off with. That's just good. Purifying Cleanse can be absolutely helpful. And Primal Dust is good, too. Okay. The Fallen Champion part is pretty brutal um we are dealing with a seraph who consumes spells so you know what this is absolutely worthwhile however damage shield two to the friend first friendly unit summoned each turn allows uh, several of my units to be far more durable out of nowhere um i think overall chains of gems is going to be more helpful in the long run but Traitor's Quill does allow us to do damage with three of our spells currently. And when it comes to the final battle, we'll be instrumental in doing a bunch of extra damage. So you know what? I will go for the Traitor's Quill. We'll give it a whirl. Uh, yeah, yesterday's day, like uh, yesterday's daily was pretty spicy. This one, equally spicy. Holy shit. Enemy units enter with an additional 10 armor. We do get a unit draft out of this, though. And if we can get a powerful enough unit, we got our carry. Uh, but we do need to find something pretty spicy, and I'm pretty sure we might be out of luck. So, how do we do this? I think what we do... Is we go for the first turn. Or at least try to. Um, that's literally all we can do there, so that's sadness. Okay, you guys are up here. Well, the good news is... We can set up like this. But also importantly, we can set up like this. And... Kill you. Super hard. <laughs> is that worth it? Absolutely not. Alright, the good news is we're down here. We got two people who are extremely low HP. It's probably not good news for most people, but you know what? That's fine. Um, you still have like a million damage shields. You take the hits, dude. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and play it like this. So we're not killing you on the first wave is what you're telling me here. Seventy-one, not quite enough. We will stop us from taking damage at the very least. And this guy up here will be sort of good to go. Um, rough, but okay. Uh, first unit we put down is not going to do that. Uh, purge. Doo -doo 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 -doo. They both deal four. That is insulting, game. I don't mean to be holistically rude, but that is actually a little insulting. Alright. So this has gone very wrong very fast. And there's nothing we can do about it, sadly. Um, we managed to do some damage at least, but not nearly enough to stop them. They managed to both get up there and do some damage. Brutal first round. We really did try to grab that, but we just could not make it happen. I think we require Molded to be able to get these guys up fast enough that we can actually do something with them. And as much as I love drafts, they're a common card. They can pop up again and I'd be okay with it. Mind Collapse is a handy card to have and we don't have any spot removal. It also keeps our energy going and with a little bit of work, Mind Collapse does a ton of damage. So I'm happy with it. 
And then with what we've got going on, I honestly think that the Wickless Baron is probably our best bet. If we went in for Molded, Wickless Baron works. So, now we have to make a choice. Left side. We can get Molded with Holdover, potentially. We could get... Um, Mind Collapse with Damage. Like, there, there's options this way. And a little bit of extra money in it for us. Right side, we could get another Remnant unit. And have some money for Merchant of Steel. I don't think it's worth it for us, though. We're going to go for Forgotten Boons. And the Merchant of Magic. It's got Holdover. It's got Holdover. Uh, which means we got Molded. And it's going to cost us nothing. You really can't go wrong with that. My Collapse with 20 extra. That's good. That's going to allow it to do something every turn. No problem. And out of these... Look. I only want one Wickless Baron. Really? But... The train stewards are far, far worse under all circumstances. So just get rid of one. Uh, and then call it a time there. Not bad. I think we made the right choices. And this asshole has sweep. Excellent. That's good. YouTube, that's my one. Okay? I get one every time. At least. Now, if we get a free weakless baron upstairs, that'd be great. Just plonk him upstairs and call it a day. Hey, look at that. I got him upstairs. I don't get to call it a day, however. Um. Apparently. Uh, that's actually extremely upsetting. Um, I'm just going to do that for free and for fun. Why not? Yeah, so I can't stop us from taking damage there. Because we just literally didn't have the ability to stop us from taking damage there. Um, I'm going to get molded. I'm going to bring him back. Try that again. I triple dog, quad dog dare you. Now, down here, uh, you're taking damage. I really wish you wouldn't. <sighs> this blows. Like, did I mention that this blows? Okay, recover him. So now I got Burnout 2. He's a big, chonky man. Do some calculations. Okay. I was hoping you would draw this. That instantly changes all the math. Like, all the math in our favor, no less. Um... Okay, great. You might as well plonk out here, dude. It doesn't matter. We've killed him. Uh, thank God that worked out the way that it did. Like, that... That Wickless Baron did all the work he needed to. Uh, we still took damage where I really wish we had him, but... It happens. Okay, Hollow Drippings. Applying Burnout 5 is a big deal. But... Has anyone considered that we already have... A good spell for this? Purifying Cleanse applies Burnout 3. That should do the trick. Hollow Drippings having consumed, though, is a big up for us. It actually is also a big up. All right. Now, these, nah. We don't need those anymore. Um, like, I think we did okay. Uh, I think in this case, we could use a little bit of the Pyre Remains. Go to the Concealed Caverns first, usually. Copy a card five times. Look. <laughs> it's not wise. <laughs> In fact, it is extremely unwise. That does nothing for us. Uh, what we can do, however, is copy at once. Um, copying at once does do something for us. Uh, I don't think we want to copy it five times, though. It's not one of those spells that you just toss out there. My class we copied five times, however, does make some sense. It's practically free. He pondered it for a moment. Nah, duplicate the holdover. Duplicate the holdover molded. Being able to resurrect two things a turn is effectively a Rector Flicker's worth of uh, benefit, so I'm happy with it. Uh, endless on any of these guys doesn't immediately make a lot of sense. Uh, applying Burnout to any of these guys doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Applying Damage Shield 3 doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I would like anything but those. Large Stone. Now we're talking. Upgrade a unit to have 25. Now we're talking. Upgrade units have 10 and 5 more. 
You know what? How about no? Not 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 right not right now. Dallas, it's time to get your ass spanked. That's my second one, YouTube. No more than that, I promise you. So, after this, we're gonna know roughly where we sit and where we stand. I'm gonna go ahead and do a ha ha. -ha. Although apparently I cannot do it. Hold on. Did I change my settings or something? Googly eyes on. Yeah, high player names. Yeah, sure. Decent. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's too loud. Why am I not allowed to click my thing anymore? Anyway, I thought that I could do the ha ha ha, but they must have changed things. All right, we're going to head down here. Because we can just do this. And it immediately kind of solves a bunch of different problems. Uh, I will also just do this to speed up the process of getting through all these guys. Yeah, put a bomb up there. See if I care. Uh, Wickless Baron, you can, you can just chill up here, my dude. Uh, I will mold it. Grabbing one of these two boys back. See if anyone minds. I don't. Okay, and Tumbral Morsel. Might as well go here, my dude. Front guy's still not dying, huh? Let's change that. Cool. Everybody, everybody is getting some kills right now. This is this is okay. Okay, this guy is huge. He's large. He's in charge. Burn out four on these drags now. They're starting to get big. Okay. Uh, give this to this guy here. Although, arguably, it's actually better to put him in front so that way he dies. Um, prismatic dust. It is actually worth applying here. And do I want to give burnout to anybody in particular? Not right yet, but I might as well apply it to this boy here. Okay. Mind collapse. Boink. Mind collapse. Boink. And it consumes, which is really nice. Grab molded for another one of these boys. Might as well purify and cleanse that guy. Get our burnout going. And uh, you know what? You can eat this, and that's fine. Uh, this guy is going to be huge. There might be a wave remaining, but this guy is done. <laughs> oh, good grief. Um, what else is there to do? The final wave. Look, there's no one to recuperate. It, like, the guy is toast. Okay, our Wickless Barons are doing great. As soon as they get multi-strike, we're singing in the rain here. Endless, again, doesn't make much sense. Shroud Spike can do some good stuff. I think that Sacrificial Resurrection here is actually excellent for us. You guys, on the other hand, can bite me. We already either have you, or better version of you. Light of Seraph makes good sense. We are going fairly wide with this deck, and we have had zero issues with anything else so far. Now, do we want to go on the right side? And get another duplicate? There's not much I want to duplicate other than maybe Mind Collapse, which on second thought, probably should have done that. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go this way instead. We're going to remove uh, two more of the Train Stewards. They're not needed anymore. They're just, they're they're taking up space. Uh, and then the Hazel's Horde. Apply Endless to the first friendly unit, summon each turn, or grant three stacks of burnout each time it is applied. Yes! <laughs> Alright, enter with armor 15. This is not good, but it is it is fine. Okay, where's this bear? Fine. For now. Fine. Other guy. Fine. My collapse in the back? Not enough to get a kill? Fine. And I do the molded hold over there just to make sure we got access to it. Now, you go here. Grab this boy. Then you go down here. Still not enough to get through, huh? Like, I really did try there. Uh, mind collapse. It's something. Uh, mold it here. Should kill him. I'm 
I'm gonna sacrifice a resurrection there. Get a big scary draft to do a lot of damage on that boy. Who has burned out a lot, I just realized. Uh, we don't have anybody to sacrifice a wick. Nobody's dead. Damn it. Like at this point, I'm just casting... I'm just summoning cards to get rid of them. Uh, we lost a chunk of damage already. Not a good not a good sign. Um, hmm. Yep, you're still getting the kill, huh? Grab me this boy. Go down here. Grab me this friend. Stuff them both down like this. Apply a purifying cleanse to this guy, so we got 14 turns of stuff. Alright, we're not even coming close to killing this guy, huh? Not even remotely. Um. Shame. So how do we do this? I think what we do is we apply as much damage shield as we can to this guy. Then sacrificial resurrection. And then run out of energy entirely? Balls! Why do I always forget that energy X equals a lot? Okay. That was not something that we wanted to have happen. Uh, the good news is we have lots of things to re to just get back from the dead right now. Um, including a large wickless baron that now has uh, burnout four. Shame we don't have another room for it. Uh, he can go up here for right now. Anything else? This big guy here for 29 damage isn't the worst. Cool. All right, well, we got the kill. It's not going well. Like, as far as dailies go, this isn't great. We're taking pretty consistent damage to our pyre, and we're not stopping it. Bounty Stalker here is huge, and the rest of this can go to heck. All right. Bounty Stalker changes things. Bounty Stalker changes things a lot. Uh, if we had gotten the vote of key, I would think we'd be in a much better spot, but it's not the case. We're gonna go down this side. We're gonna go ahead, grab the horde. Cute, not what we wanted in some respects, actually. Uh, I will pick up Light's Gift regardless, but. Now. Damage Shield 3. Uh, adorable, not what we wanted. Quick. Again, not what we wanted. We roll. Give a unit endless. Um, I think that works with Extinguish. Though I'm not positive about that. Um, I'm willing to give it a shot. And then as far as giving more HP and damage and everything else. Look. Man, I, I don't know what to tell you. Let's just remove some more cards. Train Steward. No problem. You know what? Save the extra 100 gold for later. Uh, that was roughly worthless. I really wanted a multi-strike. We did not get it. Hmm. They got it, though. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted a multi-strike. Here you go. Thanks, game. Um. Problem. It's applied to the wrong one. They didn't want them to get multi-strike. I wanted multi-strike. I don't know. Just play that, because I can. Um. They hurt a lot more all of a sudden. Uh oh. If you could go up there, that'd be excellent. If you could get hit out here, that'd be excellent. Cool beans. Like, you want to know what would be really good? Multi-strike. You want to know what we do not have? Multi-strike. 
I don't think anybody's gotten a single chance to really kind of go off that chain yet, but, uh... Cool, at least we killed the front guy. Um... This guy's just gonna make it all the way through, huh? And like, what can I do to stop it exactly? Molded. Oh, look! It's the same guy again. Um. Look, it's something. At least to reduce him to less than 30, he should die in two hits now. Instead of no hits. He, we took 40. We took, what, 60 damage off of that? 60 damage because that one dude made it to the top. I hate my life. Uh, at least this guy's large now. Uh, let's see. Giving one of them quick would have been a good move. Let's go ahead and do that there. You've got four burnout left. That's fine. Grab the draft. You've got burnout five, my dude. And, like, five. Five! Five. That's a lot. It's burn out a ton. You're toast. So, if he's toast... You're taking 370 something, huh? You know what? I'll pull this up here. But I'm going to sacrifice the resurrection now. Tosses out here and deal almost enough damage to kill him. Okay. This didn't take any more damage than we had to there. It was something. And while I'm at it, just bring back the other guy, please. Um, yeah, they're dead. They're dead. Uh, it's not, again, elegant, but at least we're making it through. We took so much damage off of that pirate thing, and the votive key would have been the thing to do. I feel very stupid when you play your first martial each turn, draw a card. Cute, adorable, hilarious. I'm not sure what we're going to do with it. Uh, Subsuming Blade. Piercing, slay, increases stuff, fatal melting. Look, fatal melting actually does something. Uh, Formless Child doesn't really. Um, and our deck is already pretty thick, but fatal melting actually does something. Like, if we play it, it'll do damage. It's going to have to be good enough. I want creature increases that we are not getting. If we go left, we can actually remove cards, increase our spell cards' abilities. You know, there's some, there's something to be had with all that. Um, I like that plan. So what I'm going to do, actually, is go to the Concealed Caverns first. Umbra, Stygian, or Awoken. Awoken could have... It could have spikes. Like, it's it's fine. It's good. But even the little guys are starting to get strong enough now that spikes... I'm not sure is doing the trick as much as we'd like it to. So we can remove consume. I, I, I'm not sure if removing consume is the right plan here. Um, I'd be happy to give that to a fatal melting though. Uh, and then reduce the cost of these, one of these by one. Hey, Fatal Melton that does at least 20 damage no matter what happens. That's pretty dope. Upgrade a spell to have double stack. Burn out 13 to units. <laughs> like, it's a thing. It's just not a very good thing. Um... Balls, man. Like, I don't know what else you want me to do there. And then double stack. 13. I don't want burnout 13 on anything. <laughs> There's like not one thing I want burnout 13 on. Sacrifice resurrection, if I have one, I'm okay with. I don't need to. And then with that said, let's go to the unstable vortex. What else can we remove? Uh, getting rid of this bounty stalker here is going to help us to continue to keep this bounty stalker going. He's starting to pick up. Starting. Um, and then I'll remove one of the Shade Splitters as well. Okay. 
Daedalus. We're not having a good time with this one. We're only at, we're only at 14,000 points. Yikes. If we beat this run, though, I'll be impressed. Okay. Baron goes down here. No problem. It's sorely tempting right now. Oh, hell. So the reason why that's as triggeringly strong as it is, uh, Harvest triggers. We're getting double triggers off of that trigger. That's pretty sweet. I'm enjoying it. Well, it doesn't do anything. Man, I don't know. Here, you can, like, you can hang out, like, here, dude. Okay, so this guy will die. And you know what? That's actually okay. What's not okay is that this guy is living. As easily as he is. I can kill him next turn by putting down a Bounty Stalker. I'm not actually that worried about him living. I'm annoyed about him living, though. But we'll have to just deal with it. It's fine. Okay, uh, every time someone dies here, bad stuff happens. Cool. Cool, well, at least we're getting two kills here. That's something. Molded. Got back one of these boys. That's something. Uh, drop him here. You gotta be kidding me, my dude. Seriously? Like, I want them to kill my guy here, but this is just a little much. Does anyone else think so? Okay, we're gonna grab this boy. We're gonna use him to eat that and kill him. No problem. This, without a doubt, going to do that. Um, like, okay, this guy's toast. We don't have to worry about that. This guy, not yet toast. two waves. Wave comes out, he dies, he comes back. Yeah, this is the right play. We'll go out, we'll get the kill, and that's good by me. Uh, out of these, I'm gonna go ahead and play one of the molded. So I'm gonna use the Sacrificial Resurrection to go ahead and get the big draft that we want out of this. We should be okay to put it down on this ground floor. Last wave. And this is the day's wave. We can't play anything else down here, and that's fine. Uh, up here, we don't need to do anything because you're already dead. I'm going to play the Molded, I'm going to play a Drag here, and pass that. Honestly, Shade Splitter just to see if we can't pog somebody up a little bit. Hey look, it's an Energy guy. Oh look, it's a Shade Splitter. Oh look, it's a Life Steal guy. It's a Life Steal guy. Oh, the only Life Steal guy I care about. Uh, final Wave. So... This is where we put this guy in the back and do as much damage as we can. Now, it still hasn't been enough. Can't quite get the Sacrificial Resurrection to work right now, so I'm not going to. We almost killed him on the first floor, but not quite enough. The Bounty Stalker's doing work, but he needs multi-strike. Like, he's just not doing enough on his own. Uh, the good news is he's doing enough now. And that's, that's, that's good enough for me. Um, good, good job, everyone. The double triggers are working in our favor. The problem is that we're still not making it work as well as we needed to. Uh, Umberstone is going to be potentially helpful, but our deck, again, is thick currently. We want less deck. Uh, give me more draw cards, and then we'll, we'll have effectively less deck. So that's probably fine. We need creature upgrades. We need creature upgrades. So we're going to go this way. I'm going to start with the creature upgrades this time. Endless again! Burnout 4. That does not do what I needed to. And Endless does not work the way I wanted to either. Try again. Multi-strike 1. Alright, at this point, if we put that on the Wickless Baron, that's one thing. If we put it on the Bounty Stalker, that's another one entirely. 
He's almost killing two people a turn, which is pretty sweet. Uh, we need these barons to start doing potentially a bit more damage. But even then, that's not going to be enough, my dude. Yes, 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 yes. I think we have to leave it alone. Let's see what's in the concealed caverns. Maybe we get lucky. Monster rail spike, huh? That would hurt. That would somehow hurt me more. But you know what? We don't need two mind collapses. We barely need one. Sure. Out of those options, I'd rather have more creatures than less. Right now, we don't have a champion, and that's costing us. So, can we make it through this? It's it's possible. Out of all the different options they could have given us for start of the battle, kind of like trial, this one's doable. Garbage start, though. Um, for serious. We, we can't allow us to take any damage. So I'm just going to go ahead and do what I did there. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, drop this upstairs. Fatal Melting will do exactly what we need it to. Okay. He's a big boy now. He can handle himself, sort of. I'll molded one of them. The other one? We'll make a draft for it, but we can't do anything with it yet. I was going to say, that needed to stop before it started. Alright. Reform. Oh boy. Yeah, those guys are dead. Fatal Melting here actually does something useful. Believe it or not, the Bounty Stalker up here has a problem. He's currently doing enough damage to make me happy. But he's never going to die because everyone's dazed. I mean, at least we're killing everybody that gets up there, but it's just... It's bad luck, man. Um, it's very bad luck. Because he's out in the front right now. If I could mind collapse him, I would. <laughs> just so I could get him back and out of there. We need him to die more often is the problem. He's, he's not dying at all, you see, and that's causing issues, you understand. Holy crap, man. Okay. Um, so what do we need to do then? Well, we need to make sure that he is nigh on unkillable. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and make him as hard to kill as possible. Um, yeah, I'll grab him out of my deck and that's fine. Sacrifice Resurrection. You want to know what, dude? Yeah, man. Thin the deck out, make one big draft. Hey, look, it's a big draft. Okay, that did not help as much as I hoped it would. Reform a unit. Hey, it's another draft. How are we doing up here? Everything's dying? Good, 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 good. I should put that up there, huh? 990. There's no place where we can play that that'll actually make a difference. So we keep getting the boss on the second floor, and that's what we're doing. This boy just hits really hard. Um, molded. Boom. Big draft. We needed that for sure. Then Sacred Wicks. Really? I mean, like... 
sure? Call me impressed, dude. Do you have multi strike or something? You have trample. Well, you died. And that's the important thing. Imagine what I could have done if I had just gotten the stealth assassin where he needed to go. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, Amber Cash. Actually adorable and very good. Actually adorable and very good. It's a consume card that we don't mind playing at all times of the game. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go down this side. Go to the Merchant of Steel and you... Best expect to Betsy. If I don't get a multi-strike or so Thank God. Large Stone Boy gets multi-strike. Another boy, you know what? Just just be be tanky, man. Just live. Live long enough to become big, okay? Leave. We're going to duplicate the Stalker. And then we're going to Unstable Vortex and remove... One of the Shade Splitters. We don't need to. Um... And I guess, uh, I guess the molded that we don't need. Let's see what we got for artifacts. Okay. Plus three magic power. Game, are you trying to make me upset? Yeah, let's re-roll, see if we can get anything better. Friendly units get rage three whenever they lose a stack of burnout. Outstanding. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we can do with that. You lose a stack of burnout, you get bigger. That's actually not bad at all. That's really, really good. We just need to make it work. Everybody on the floor is dying. Excellent news. Do we need to use any of these as a result? No. Great. The Uber triggers are a nice are a nice touch. Uh, we have a second bounty stalker here. It will never die if it's up on this floor. I don't know who else will ever die. Okay. We can put another bounty stalker down someplace. Um I don't want to yet. What I will do is that and then put this guy out there first. Cool. That way we're killing everybody on the floor. Okay, and this time we're going to let the floor go. We're going to let the floor go. We have to play these both out. This is the right time to play this card. Dude, I don't know. Why not? This guy will go upstairs and eventually die anyway. Not a big deal. Bounty Stalker here makes good sense. Very good sense. I don't want to play any spells this turn. Those are tip of I'll be right back. Alright, we'll talk about a clipping and we're back. Uh, Bounty Stalker, round two. Another Bounty Stalker up there, why not? We can play this guy wherever we want. You know, I'm gonna purify and cleanse that guy just to make sure he stays alive a little bit longer. There's no problem with that. Anyway, he's got left. Two? Okay. Now, if we put down a Hollow Drippings, it'll do what we need it to do uh, and get a kill on both of us at the same time, which is, like, fine, honestly. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that now. Well, I can be consumed, I will do it. Uh, then we're gonna go pick up this guy. 
drop it down here. Go to my house there. Okay, that'll get what we need to get done done. And then this guy's toasted. Okay, so we have to do that. We can use this to get rid of him. Then, the bounty stalker out here. Everybody on this floor is dead. Now, the reason why we're putting him back here is so that he can continue to deal damage. Hopefully, that'll kill the guy on the first floor. That's the hoop. Okay. And to speed that process up, we can easily just do this. Get rid of that. Fail melting here will help to speed some things up. Not that it matters at all. And okay, cool. We do what we can. We should have a good crack at this first floor, and it was good enough. Um, in fact, it was exactly what we needed. So I apply as much burn as we can. Like, yeah, floor worked out great. Okay, look, no problems on the final fight of the entire run. We should break 40,000 points. We broke 40,000 points. Contrary to all my expectations at the beginning, I'll take it. Remember when we first started this, there was no one who'd won? We can now just say that we took a win. I don't know why it's not letting me do the, the faces. Did I get muted? Did I do it too much? Did someone report me? Anyway. Um, look, we managed. We got somewhere. <laughs> oh, I know we're only an hour and 13 minutes into the daily, but uh, I'm looking at a fourth place finish globally currently, and that's all right by me. <laughs> Uh, um, very cool. There's only 50 entries right now, but, uh, you know what? I'm willing to take my spot there. That is a solid, solid daily. Now, how did this guy get up to almost 50? Um, you found a big sludge. Uh, yep, that would do it. Big sluggo. He, the votive key, I think, was a good, was a good pickup. That would have been something I would have wanted to pick up myself. Uh, in hindsight... Definitely the vote of key. You went for chain of gems rather than the consume quill, which honestly I'm not sure about. I mean, obviously it worked, but it's one of those things where like I really, really enjoyed what that quill did. Uh, Morsel Maker was doing fine for him apparently. Mind collapse with holdover. I mean, it's, as it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, like, the, it, like there's something like it's honestly just playing it properly with a big sludge that has trample. And getting him to be really big, really fast. That worked out wonderfully for him. Uh, he ended up going for double on size. So that we can con continuously play uh, all the morsels he needed to for the big sludge to be big. Or just sacrifice them so that way the sludge could get bigger and bigger. We went for a completely different deck archetype. A completely different deck archetype. Uh, and I'm kind of happy with how we did our way of things. He just also had 15,000 remaining coins. What? Did he pick up Gift of Generosity at some point and just never show it to anybody? Or did he... I mean, that's suspect. I'm, I'm, I'm calling sus on first place here. But in any case, thanks for watching. Hope you folks enjoyed yourselves. If you did, show let me know. I'll see you guys for uh, tomorrow morning. Should be good.